Clay Stampers, Gator again, and I'm coming back with the last card that I made for the In Love Arts. Um, it's going to be a pretty quick card, I'm afraid, because this one was basically just me die-cutting those gorgeous pieces out, rearranging them on my card, and uh, yeah, so if I've got time, I might do two cards with you. So these are those gorgeous camera dies. It was to do with the film strip, the camera, the speech bubble, and this gorgeous, uh, like a movie reel. This was for my sentiment, if I can remember the set. Yes, I can. Meant to be. That I had it from, I don't know why I put it away. I think I was moving on to different projects. So, oh, I'm having a bad hair day. It just doesn't want to do anything. So, I've taken, it's just a, I know, half of an A4 piece of card and I've scored and folded it. This is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded at four and one eighth. Then I've got my layers, which are three and seven eighths for the real red by five and five eighths. And then this one is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. And they're just literally just gonna get glued together. It's gonna be a really quick card. So maybe I'll get two in there. Just that since I've been doing albums, anything to do with cameras, films, you know, and stuff like that, I've really been drawn to. So I quite like it. So let's layer these two sections up. Perfect. And then I can layer my card down. I love the way the real red it's just a really vibrant beautiful color love it true red I'd say so I'll set that to one side I've got a piece of gold foiling and I think it measures about two and a quarter oh well, three inches sorry just so my piece can fit on without me having to break everything apart so I can just cut it all out in one go and what I like to do is pop it down to the very, very bottom line that up and then I've got a little a bit of extra in case I need anything else coming out now the love hearts here are from the inside of the film reel so if you give me a second I shall just cut that out for you Sure, everything's in place. I'm a bit uh, disappointed with the magnetic plate for stamping up, warping the way it does. And then what the? Wow, that didn't even sit right. Let's, let's try that one more time. Touch it backwards. Yeah, I don't think, uh, unless they can improve on that embossing folder, I don't think it's the best. So there's the little speech bubble, the camera. There's a little love art in the camera as well. You can choose to put them back. I've got a little bit of debris on top of my plate, but... squares you could use those I suppose on something else just gonna grab my pokey to pop out my lovely little love hearts save those the rest of those as well you could save these to make me cut out some other shapes and one in that and three of those the rest I will pop to one side they'll go in shaker cards Is that everything out? One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because of the love heart there. One, two, three, four, 
five. There we are. I was thought I'd, I'd missed a bit then, but it's not. It's the row. It's over there. So at the end of these, this is the last one of the videos I'll be making with the Inlots, Inlots items. So I will be putting the die and the other one and all the stamp sets up for a giveaway. So watch this space. I will do a little video and one lucky winner. So I'll pop these to one side and use them for other things on a different card. And fetch this in then. The only thing I'm gluing down is this. The rest is all going to be popped up on dimensionals. You've got a little tiny groove of lines. Just grab your poker tool over a bin and just literally go down. And they'll all pop out. Just like that, maybe get an odd straggler here, there and everywhere. You could use your brush, stamp it up brush, take a pick tool, whatever. But I find just the tip of your pokey tool will get those little things out all in one go. With the odd straggler, that's all. with me there we go I think that's got them all one there why does that one not want to come out there we go it's got it that one some of them just want to pop back in there we go some just need a little persuasion. Two left. But it's worth taking your time to get those last little bits out. There we go. So I'm going to glue this down when that's got it now. So I'm just nice thin line when it wants to come out. It's so, so warm in my room today. That's oh, got it. And don't forget, you could add those le leftover love arts on the inside of the card. I think I might do that, actually. So, I'm using the line of... Uh, mind you, I don't think I should. Maybe I should, yeah. Use that line. to help me get my straight line. Perfect. Grab a little piece of tissue. I don't like the glue mark, so I just use a little bit of toilet to kitchen roll. She says. Do you know if you can't get the glue off straight away with your fingers use your wink Stella it melts the glue literally melts the glue and it just comes right off then perfect la 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 love it love it love it right we're not gonna be needing any more glue so let's pop the lid back on and grab some dimensionals Some more, there they are. Oh, I am going to glue them down. The little love hearts. Sorry, I tell a lie. Tell a porky pie. Push the center out of that. It's just a matter of placing dimensionals now. So this will fit four mini ones on, or three if you only want to put three on. Either side of my camera, which I think is ultra cute. 
love heart. I'm going to use a large one for my speech bubble. Uh, anything else? Do you know what we could, you know, use a pair of scissors. Oh, I've got some. Okay, I'm not cutting half. You could literally just cut some in half, the mini ones. And you could even pop them on dimensionals to save getting the glue back out. Oh, it's upside down. Nicely placed. Perfect. Woohoo! Love it, love it, love it. Right, I'm just going to stick everything in the same place as well because I think it's a really nice, cute layout. There. Love this little speech bubble. The camera. It's a nice little angle. Love art. And then my tiny little love art. I'm just going to place oops them down cute 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 so I've got leftover love hearts there and now for my meant to be, which is from the stamp set meant to be. And there it is, cute little set. <clears throat> Grab myself a little block. And I can, because this is a square block, you can roughly wear that up and I'm going to do that in the real red as well because I do love this colour. This piece measures one and a quarter by two and three quarter. It's just so cute and then we're going to try and this as straight as possible. Oh yeah, lovely. Turned out perfect. And it's got some little love hearts actually. In the set. So let's have a go at that as well on the inside. in one of the corners. I'm just giving it a little faded action until it's gone. How sweet is that? That is really cute. Let's do that on this one as well. Just to give some cute little decoration. Cute, I'll do. 
Amazing what a little, one little tiny stamp will do to make your card look even prettier. Love that. So now I'm just going to pen at the ends. Nice and not too sharpish, if you know what I mean. Quite a, uh, a subtle little V to cut out. And the same on this side. And with my bone folder, I can make my cut area disappear so it doesn't look like there's any boob boobs. Grab myself a couple more dimensionals. Excuse me. There we go, finally come off. <laughs> so if anyone would like any of the cards that I've made through the In Love Art cards, just send to me uh, a line. Or send, leave me a message and I'll send you one out in its, with its envelope and sell bag. I do want my little gemstones and I need to colour three of them in with my dark real red so I add one if you see right in the camera eye there and then to the there we go it's got the little glue dots aren't aligned on the back so I gotta tuck them over What a cute little card. That'd be great. It's, you know, if you've got a boyfriend, he's a movie buff, or he's a YouTuber, that'd be great to send it to him. Oh, and I've got my little ribbon to add. Oh, okay, gainy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, yeah, Valentine's Day. Maybe just a little note to say, I love you, I'm thinking of you. It's so cute. So, how do I do this now? I've forgotten. There we go. One, two, Three, I'm a little tail. Perfect. Cute little tails. Love the linen thread. So I will be using a little dot of glue just to add my gorgeous cute little bow and I like to spread the tail uh, the loops and then just pop that right on there and just hold it down for a minute whilst it dries. Perfect. There it is. How cute is that? Look at the little red lens. There's the other one I did. Right, let me see if I can grab the cards. I've got a few in a box I've made. I will show you the box at a different stage because uh, it holds up to six cards. One, two, four, six. Yeah, it holds six cards. I'll show you that soon. And these are the ones I made and it holds them with envelopes and cello bags so uh, that was the first card I did uh, I'm not sure in order but this was the, the first one 
Uh, I think that was the second one. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and this one seventh. So yeah, I'll show you the little box. It's literally I put a belly band down, but I don't think I'll do that for the decoration. I want to try and work out it. This is has to be using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but I want to get it so I can do it out of an A4. Uh, you, you can for the American style, but our envelopes are six and a quarter. And um, yeah, well, six and a half actually. Our envelopes are six and a half, whereas your card is probably like five and three quarter. Your envelopes, but ours are. My, the ones I use anyway are because look our cards are five and seven eighths giving us a little gap and a gap this side I think the stamping up envelopes I think they're just like um, five and three quarter but ours like I say are a lot bigger yeah six and a half so yours would probably be something like five and three quarters so you could get a box and literally all it takes is an extra half an inch or you could do a gusset so let me just show you one two three four five six six cards and I'm gonna use the thumbnail at the back to show it's the back because of my seams are down the back I've done one before but I think I used two lots of cards I want to try and make it out of one, but they fit in there perfectly. Six cards, six envelopes, six cello bags. Perfect for craft fair ideas. I haven't decorated this one yet because I haven't finished it yet. But look, nice gift to give somebody. Birthday card, thank you card, thinking of you, maybe two of each. And then give that as a gift to somebody. So I will show you how to make this. And I'm going to try and, like I say, modify it down if I can or use an A4 and uh, maybe add just that gussy on the end to get the measurements that I want. So there we go, there is our gorgeous card, card number seven. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, with that little corner decoration. So I hope you like it, I hope you give a thumbs up and a share, that'd be amazing. If you're new to my channel and enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to press um, the subscribe bell uh, button and the bell straight after. My hair really is giving me a jip day today. So <laughs> but thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.